The hiring's always a challenge. Uh, you know, keeping our numbers up to staff is, is always difficult. It's a problem facing police departments big and small across the country. Fewer and fewer people are deciding to get into law enforcement. When I started in 2005, there were more than 200 people that showed up for my test to get in. Uh, now, uh, we're lucky if we get as many as 20. To fill the gap, departments across Kentucky are taking advantage of the Commonwealth's Retire Rehire program. It allows departments to bring back officers with at least 20 years of experience. Lieutenant Bradbury says Covington's brought back seven officers as part of the program. We don't have to pay to send that person to the academy uh, for 20 weeks. Uh, we don't have to pay for that person to be in the field training program. Returners in Covington are also given a $15,000 stipend. But each hire, Bradbury says, saves them close to $50,000. Officers are already receiving their pensions and get their benefits through the state. Leaders in Fort Wright say the challenge of finding new police officers has greatly impacted small departments like the one here. The police chief here says they've taken great advantage of the retire rehire program. Being able to get retirees to fill some of that gap is really important. Fort Wright's department has 13 officers. Chief Ed Butler was one of the retired officers who decided to return to law enforcement through the program. Every one of us has to wear multiple hats and answer calls and do those things. We don't have the specialty divisions that your larger departments have. So when we're short an officer, that is literally an officer on the street. But they all agree the retire rehire program is only a Band-Aid on an issue that needs longer term solutions. We can't just rely on retired rehired folks. You know, it's just and eventually that's that's a system that's not going to work forever. We need to find a way to get young men and women into this job and not only get them in, but keep them in Fort Wright. Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.